Okay, so good, good day students. So today we are going to discuss about solving corresponding parts of triangle congruence. Okay, so it is uh, the or it is another uh, discussion. Okay, after we've discussed about the angles and sides of a triangle. Okay, so again, we have here solving corresponding parts of triangle congruence. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, before we will proceed, let's have first our specific objective in order for us to be guided, okay? So, at the end of this discussion, you are expected to solve the corresponding angles and sides of a triangle to prove that the triangle are congruent, okay? So, uh, we are hoping that at the end of this discussion, you will be able to achieve this objective, okay? So, is it clear? Okay, very good. Okay, so one of the theorems uh, of a tr triangle congruence is we have here uh, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent or CPCTC. So it is uh, one of the theorems uh, of uh, a triangle congruence. Okay, so what does it mean? Okay, it means that triangles are congruent if all corresponding sides and angles are congruent. So as you uh, understand as, or as you uh know that uh a triangle has uh two parts we have here the sides or the three sides as well as the three angles so cpctc ma uh, means that uh, triangles are congruent or are considered con uh, congruent if all corresponding sides and angles are congruent okay so the next one we have here if we prove uh, two triangles are congruent then we can state that any of their corresponding parts are congruent. So that's uh, CPT, uh, CPCTC means or corresponding parts of concurrent triangles are congruent. Okay, so is it clear? Okay, very good. Okay, so we have here our problem number one. Okay, so for example, uh, if line segment AB or side AB is equal to 3x plus 9 and line segment DE is uh, equal to 12, find the value of x. So we are tasked to find the value of x. Okay, so what are you going to do first? Okay, you need first to identify if uh, corresponding parts ba ni, or corresponding side ba ni line uh, segment AB si line segment DE. So as you observe class, si line segment AB is congruent to line segment DE. Okay? So therefore class, we can say that line segment AB is equal to line segment DE. So what are we going to do now? Okay, so we are going to substitute the value of our line segment AB which is 3x plus 9 as well as the value of our line segment DE which is 12. So we have here 3x plus 9 is equal to 12. So what to do next? Okay, since we are only tasked to find the value of x, okay, so dapat yung natira sa left side is 3x lang. So that's why we need to cancel out positive 9. Okay, so how are we going to cancel out positive 9? So we are going to subtract both side by 9 to remain the 3x only. So we have here 3x plus 9 minus 9 is equal to 12 minus 9. So we have here positive 9 minus 9 cancelled out. So yung natira is si 3x is equal to 12 minus 9. We have here 3. So 3x is equal to 3. Are we done? Okay, not yet. It's because we are only tasked to find the value of x. And uh, sa ating given is uh, meron pang 3 sa katabi ni x. So, dapat ma-cancel out si 3. So, paano natin i-cancel out si 3? We are going to divide both sides by 3 to find the value of x. Okay, so we have here 3x divided by 3 is equal to 3 divided by 3. So, 3 divided by 3 cancelled out. So, yung natira is si x na lang. x is equal to 3 divided by 3. We have here 1. So, x is equal to 1. So, our answer, once we are asked to find the value of x, therefore, our answer is 1. Okay, again, the value of our x is equal to 1. Okay, so is it clear? Okay, very good. 
Okay, how about if you are asked to find the value of line segment AB? So, as you observe class, uh, yung value ni line segment AB is equal to 3x plus 9. So, how are we going to get the value of our line segment AB? Okay, so, since we are done getting the value of our x, which is the 1, ibig sabihin, what we're going to do now is to substitute the value of our x kay 3x plus 9. Okay, so we have here line segment segment AB is equal to 3x plus 9. Okay, again, we are going to substitute the value of x, which is equal to 1. Okay, so we have here line segment AB is equal to 3 times 1 plus 9. Okay, so 3 times 1, we have here 3 plus 9. So, ibig sabihin 3 plus 9, the value of line segment AB is equal to 12. Okay, again, the value of line segment AB is equal to 12. Okay? So, how are we going to find out this one without solving? Okay? So, without solving class, based from the given problem, okay, or based from the given statement, uh, we can already identify what, uh, what is the value of line segment AB. Bakit? It's because uh, in the given statement, si line segment AB is congruent to line segment DE. Therefore, class, line segment AB is is equal to line segment DE. And the measurement of line segment DE is already given. So, which is E? 12. Okay, therefore, class, without solving, uh, the value of line segment AB is already equal to 12. It's because they are equal with line segment DE. Okay, so again, the value of our line segment AB is equal to 12. Okay, so is it clear? Okay, very good. Okay, so let's proceed now to our problem number two. Okay, so we have here, uh, based from the given figure, okay, based from the given uh, two triangles, okay, we have here, if line segment KG is equal to 5X minus 7 and GH or line segment GH is equal to 23, find the value of X, okay? Again, we are only tasked to find the value of X. X. Okay, so we are going to find the value of X. So as you observe class, based from the given figure, si line segment KG at saka si line segment GH are congruent. So therefore, we can say that line segment KG is equal to line segment GH. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to substitute the value of each line segment. Okay, so we have here the value of our line segment KG is equal to 5x minus 7. Then it will equal to a line, uh, line segment GH, which is the 23. So we have here 5x minus 7 is equal to 23. Okay, so what to do next? Okay, since we are tasked to find the value of our x, dapat cancel out si negative 7. Okay, dahil uh, dapat si uh, x lang yun or si 5x lang yung matera sa left side. So, paano natin i-cancel out si neg negative 7? We are going to add both side by 7 to remain the 5x only. It's because it's all about unlike sign. So, pag unlike sign yung uh, ilalagay nyo, makakancel out. Okay? Bakit nag-subtract tayo kanina? It's because positive yun. Okay? Since negative 7, so dapat, uh, unlike sign niya, so positive 7. So again, we are going to add both side by 7 to remain the 5x only. So we have here, uh, 5x, okay, negative 7 plus 7 cancelled out. So is equal to 23 plus 7. So we have here, 5x is equal to 30. So what to do next? We are going uh, to divide both sides by 5 to find the value of x. So, we have here 5x uh, divided by 5 and 30 divided by 5. So, 5x divided by 5, so it will become 1x or simply x only. is equal to 30 divided by 5. We have here 6. So, x is equal to 6. Okay, so again, x is equal to 6. So, our answer is since you are only tasked to find the value of x. Okay, again, we are only tasked to find the value of x. So therefore, our answer is 6. Okay, so is it clear? Okay, very good. Okay, so what if you are asked to find the value or the exact value of line segment kg? Okay, so since we are done getting the value of our x, which is 6, 
Therefore, we are all we need to do is to substitute the value of our x. Okay, so we have here uh, line segment KJ is equal to 5x minus 7. Okay, so we are going to substitute the value of x which is equal to 6. Okay, so we have here line segment KG is equal to 5 times 6 is equal to minus 7 rather okay so we have here 5 times 6 5 times 6 we have here 30 so 30 minus 7 the value of our line segment kg is equal to 23 okay so again the exact value of line segment kg is equal to 23 okay so ganun lang kadali ang pagkuha ng uh, exact value ni line segment kg Okay, kg. Okay, so again, uh, if ever uh, we are not going to solve this one, okay, so how are we going to get the exact value of line segment kg? So what we're going to do now is to observe, okay, since uh, congruency line segment kg at saka line segment gh, therefore class, same lang yung measurement nila. So, ibig sabihin, class, since uh, binigay naman yung exact value ni line segment GH na sa 23, so therefore, same measurement silang ni line segment KG. So, therefore, class, without solving, we can already identify the exact value of line segment KG, which is si 23. Okay, so again, if ever lang, okay, if ever yung kakongruent side or kakongruent parts niya is binigay ang exact value, therefore, without even solving that uh, uh, problem, makukuha mo rin yung exact value. Okay, if ever yung kakorresponding part niya is binigay yung exact value. Okay, so is it clear? Okay, very good. Okay, so we are done with problem number two. So now let's proceed to our problem number three. Okay, so we are given. Okay, so let's base our uh, measurement or let's base uh, our answer based from the given figure. Okay, and based from the given problem. Okay, so we have here if angle K is equal to 68 degree and angle J is equal to X plus 10, find the exact value of x okay so if ever class the missing uh the missing part of the given triangles is uh angles okay so therefore class we can apply uh the concept of triangle sum theorem okay so we have here uh based from the given uh triangle okay so we have here angle k plus angle m plus angle j is equal to 180 degree and also from the second triangle we have here angle h plus angle j plus angle g is equal to 180 degree so as you observe class uh, the corresponding angles we have here angle k and angle h as well as angle m at saka angle j and angle g at saka angle g okay so therefore class we can also say that angle k plus angle j plus angle g is equal to 180 degree degree. Okay. Teacher Kim, bakit natin uh, pinalitan si angle M kay angle J? So, si observe class, in the given problem, yung, me, uh, yung may measurement lang is si angle J, hindi si angle M. Therefore, we can substitute instead of angle M, gagawin natin angle J para hindi tayo malito. Okay? So, bakit allow, allowed siya? It's because uh, si angle M is congruent to angle J. So, therefore, pwede lang mabaliktad. Okay? So, we will use angle K plus angle J plus angle G is equal to 180 degree. Okay. Take note, class, na si angle K is equal to 68 degree and si angle J is equal to X plus 10. Okay. How about si angle G? Wala. So, therefore, uh, it simply means that X yung value ni angle G. Okay? Again, Angle K is equal to 68 degree, angle J is equal to X plus 10, and angle G is equal to X. Since uh, wala man siyang uh, measurement na nakalagay. So again, angle G is equal to X. Okay, so we have here, let's substitute one by one. So we have here, angle K is equal to 68, plus angle J is equal to X plus 10, plus angle G is equal to X, is equal to 180 degree. Okay, so next one, we are going to combine the like th terms, okay? So we have here 68 plus 10, the constant 1, and the variable 
we have your x plus x is equal to 180 degree. Okay, so let's proceed. After that one, we are going to add the like terms. Okay, so we have here 68 plus 10, we have here 78. Plus x plus x, we have here 2x is equal to 180 degree. Okay, so take note class, now we are finding the value of x. Okay, so therefore, dapat yung matira lang sa left side is si 2x lang. Therefore, we are going to cancel out the positive 78. So, how are you going to cancel out positive 78? We are going to subtract both sides by 78 to remain the 2x only. So, we have here 2x plus 78 minus 78 is equal to 180 minus 78. So, 78 minus 78, it will become 2x. Then, 180 minus 78, it will become 102. And, since x lang man yung hinahanap natin, so, therefore, we are going to cancel out 2. So, how are we going to cancel out that 1? We are going to divide both sides by 2 to remain the x only. So, we have here 2x divided by 2 is equal to 102 divided by 2. It will become x is equal to 51. So, therefore, class, the value of our x is equal to 51. Okay? Okay. So again, x is equal to 51. So if you are only asked to, or if you are only tasked to get the value of x, so your answer is 51. So again, the value of our x is equal to 51. Okay, so naintindihan? Okay, very good. Okay, so we are done getting the value of our x. And now, let's proceed. If you are asked to find the exact value of angle G at saka angle J. So, let's uh, find out first the value of our angle G. So, actually, class, angle G, since a uh, missing, so it is the x degree. So, since uh, we already found out the value of our x, therefore, uh, diretso na lang. So, we have here angle G is equal to 51 degree. So, let's proceed now to our angle J. So, angle J is equal to x plus 10. So, what we're going to do now is to substitute uh, the value of our x, which is the 51. So, therefore, we have here 51 plus 10. Angle J is equal to 61 degree. Okay? So, if we are going to add that one class, we have here 68 angle K plus angle J plus angle G. Therefore, 68 plus 61, we have here 129. So, 129 plus 51, it will equal to 180 degree. So, 180 degree is equal to 180 degree. So, therefore, class, our answer is correct. Okay, so, naintindihan ba? Okay, very good. Okay, so, if you have questions about our discussion for this day, please uh, don't hesitate to comment uh, down below about your questions uh, your concerns about this video and if you are going to message me uh, please message me privately using my uh, gmail account that is posted in the description uh, below okay so just check okay so again if you have a question you can comment down below and again thank you for listening See you again next time for another discussion. Okay, so thank you so much. Bye!